السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم in the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful guys this is question number 7 of the past paper 2018 AP calculus right here in this question question number 7 the function is given okay the function is given and the function is just like you know 3 power 2 is 6 means is a polynomial equation you can say right x square plus 1 whole cube which is given and you have to find what is the limit x tends to minus 1 and fx minus f of minus 1 divided by x plus 1 but first of all I want to tell you what does it mean what is the what is the actual meaning of this word right so I want to tell you whenever you have look you have a function right so whenever you have a function and you have to find the slope for example right okay if for example you know from uh, grade 6 to grade 11 uh, everybody knows how to find the slope of the line okay but nobody knows how to find the slope of the curve okay because there is a specific formula for the slope of the line but there is no formula for finding the slope of the curve right so if you have a curve how will you find the slope this is very important point okay so if you have a curve you have to find the derivative once you have a derivative you can find the slope at any point right because at the curve at different different point the slope is different in line each and every point the slope is always constant right so here so i'm going to tell you what does it mean so it will it will give you a slope this means it will give you a slope limit x tends to minus one means you have to find the value of this one where x tends to minus one it means this will give you a slope slope what is the slope slope is nothing it is a number as a specific number okay so this is not the derivative this is this is what this is the slope okay so I'm going to tell you if this is very important okay once you understand the core concept of this one then if the questions come from any other part you can solve it right so the question is if fx is given please listen this is very important if fx is given right if fx is given and you have to find f dash x right so for finding f dash x okay you have to this is derivative this is not the slope this is a derivative right so then you can use uh, f uh, limit x plus a or you can say fx minus f a divided by x minus a right and here when you apply a limit x tends to a okay so this means this means here at the time of a you are just going to put a f a and this will give you a slope now okay if, if this is f dash x for example okay it means we are not going to put it we are not going to put the value of x then it means we are just finding out the derivative but if we are going to find the derivative at a point which means slope it means the slope is equal to this formula this is very important again I am going to discuss about this one slope how will you find the slope you need limit x tends to a a is a specific number where S, uh, a is a specific number where we have to find what the slope right so you can just understand that this is your derivative and when you apply this one when you evaluate this will give you a slope right so the formula is fx minus fa divided by x minus a okay so if you put x tends to a in limit always listen this is x tends to a x is not equal to a x is very 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 close to a from lhl or rhl right this is not equal to a so here if you put here Okay, so this is what f a minus f a this is 0 if you put a here a minus a this is 0 okay so this is equal to what f of prime a so prime a means we are going to put some values okay so listen <coughs> this is a so if you compare this question with this one right so this is I'm going to write down here please this is limit right x tends to a so x tends to a is what minus 1 here so this you can say this is minus 1 
which is a a is equal to minus one okay so this is what fx fx means that this is a function is given right this fx is given here for example so you can say uh, fx and minus this is a and this a is what minus one so i just write down minus one here f of minus one divided by x minus a a is minus one so just write down minus one which is what uh, you can say fx uh, sorry you can say limit extends to what a or minus one right this is minus one and this is what fx minus f of minus one divided by x minus one as well x plus one right you can see the same question here fx minus f of minus one divided by x plus one limit extends to minus one this means it will give you what f of prime is means we have to find what f of prime and a is what minus one this means f of minus one we have to find what limit extends to minus one fx minus f of minus one divided by x plus one you can say this is just like a formula right and you can say this is a slope slope at point minus one at point minus one okay so this means f of this is not uh, you can say this is not inverse this is uh, f prime right so this is f prime okay so it means so how do you understand that so if you have derivative so first you have to find the derivative if the function is given we can find the derivative and then in place of x you just put substitute minus one and you can find out f of minus one so you have to find what f of prime minus one so what do you have to find you have to find you have to find we have to find what f of prime minus one this is we have to find right okay so now i'm going to solve this question the question is fx it's very simple fx which is given what c square plus one power three and i can just find out d by dx of this one so d by dx of f of x is d by dx of what x square plus one power three and here uh, you have to apply the chain rule here right so for a while you must understand that uh, this is x okay so x power n you can say 3 x square plus 1 and 3 minus 1 which is 2 right and whatever you assume differentiate again x square plus 1 this is called chain rule first we apply using the formula x power n which is n x n minus 1 and then differentiate whatever you assume you assume x square plus 1 so the answer you will get it which is 3 x square plus 1 whole square and d by dx of x square is 2x and d by dx 1 is 0 <coughs> so you have 3 2x x square plus 1 whole square this is called and d by dx of f x is f of prime x so f of prime x is this one right this is called derivative this is your derivative okay d for derivative but we want what this means f of prime minus one so here if of in place of x i will just write down minus one here so you can say three to six this is minus one and minus one whole square plus one whole square so <coughs> this is minus six and minus one whole square is one one plus one this is whole square so this is what minus six 1 plus 1, 2, 2 multiplied by uh, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 square is 4, 2, 6 multiplied by 4, minus 24. So the answer is minus 24. We can say the answer A is correct. So guys, I hope you all understand. If you have a problem, you just write down the comment. Whenever we have a time, I will discuss it with you. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Bye-bye.